Hello, hello, it's Katrina Cobb here again, your favorite digital nomad and business consultant coach. And this week I wanna share the, the one area of business that it's so important to build systems in that is also the most overlooked when you are a solopreneur and independent service provider, kind of a one man show and growing your business. And it's also one of the most critical to build so that you can enjoy all the success and freedom that you're actually trying to achieve in the first place. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the financial side of your business. I can't tell you how many calls I've had recently with people who want to learn and understand marketing and sales, but have never spent the time to understand truly the financial workings of their business and what it takes to be financially successful, to have profits, to be able to reinvest that, to have confidence and security, to be able to sleep at night, to be able to know what's coming in in future months and have predictability and have stability. All these amazing things that take some of the stress out of that roller coaster that can be business out of your life and make business more enjoyable because you're not worried about that. Look, we can't deny that we want to make money and there's nothing, nothing wrong with it. Money is an amazing tool for doing good. You can do so much good and have so much more impact when you have money on yourself, your loved ones and the rest of the world even. So it's not a bad thing, but we as a culture, especially in the United States, have sort of shied away from really even dealing with it. We kind of have this sort of <laughs> ostrich head in the sand thing when it comes to money and so many business owners when they're getting started just oversimplify it and say if I just make more clients then I'll have more money and I'll be fine and the reality is to build a sustainable business and a scalable business it's actually gonna give you your time freedom back you got to go further so what kind of business systems deal with the finances so here's a short list of things to look into and again I'm super happy to jump on a call and talk through some of this and figure out how to put it into your business if you need help but the first place I would start, if you haven't, is look at your, your business model and projections, knowing how many of what to sell each month, how they stack together, when there's going to be upsell and downsell opportunities, what the life cycle of your clients look like, so you can project out six months, 12 months, 24 months in the future, what things might look like in terms of revenue coming in, right? A lot of people oversimplify this thing and they say, more is better. Eh. Maybe, but have you really thought about what your capacity is and how things lead into each other in terms of if people buy a front end offer or like a, a one time offer, how many of those convert to a long term or retainer service with you, right? There's some really simple math we can put behind this and simple projections, but that's key to understanding and having a plan for how you're going to grow. From there, I would say you want to look at two things. You want to look at a budget and have a system to actually, I know it's, it's a B word, right? It's one of those words we hate, but you got to have a system to understand your expenditures and investments in the business. And there are investments to made at key points. And then likewise, a cash flow forecasting. So cash flow is different than just a business projection because cash flow takes into account when invoices are getting paid, what the delay might be on any invoices that are getting paid, if you have any kind of a net 30 or, or a different system. And also compares that against when the expenditures happen on your business and when you wanna pay yourself, when you've gotta pay bills and investments back, those sorts of things. So it manages the actual cash you have available to yourself and gives you the confidence of knowing at any point what's going to be where. From there, there are the other important things we can't avoid. Tax planning systems, accounting systems, all of these things to manage your invent, your really your money in the business. And the one that I think is most exciting, but most uncommon is a profits planning system. So what are you going to do with the profits that you make and do you know how much you're going to make and can you plan for that? I can guarantee you, you are much more likely to have profits at the end of the day if you've made a plan for it and you know exactly what they're going to be allocated for and what you're going to do with them. So these are some examples to just pull back the curtain, start to understand the dollars and cents of what you're doing in business. And again, I'm super happy to support if a conversation around some of these things would be helpful to educate yourself and, and start to learn what this might look like for you in your business situation but it's gonna be critical. Money makes the world go around and money makes your business go around and owning it and accepting it is really, really empowering. So that's one tip for this week is don't overlook the importance of building financial systems in your business. So I will be back next week with some more fun tips. Hope that helps.